Nickel, a metal with depressed prices, but we need it really. We need it. We don't survive. The battery and EV revolution needs really nickel. The price of nickel futures dropped to $15,825, hitting a five-week low amid ample supply. Indonesia, now producing over half of the world's nickel, has significantly ramped up output in recent years, driving prices down and forcing closures of producers elsewhere. Moreover, an additional 928,000 tons of capacity is expected to come online in the next three years, primarily for electric vehicle EV batteries. The Indonesian government anticipates nickel prices will stabilize near current levels as new plants balance rising demand with strong supply. In 2030, estimates International Energy Agency already Indonesia to produce 62% of all nickel worldwide, which we think is a huge risk. Also environmentally, Indonesia is not a leading nation really. Today, around 603 grams CO2 per kilowatt hour are emitted when refining nickel. Nickel demand will start to rise from 2025 2026 onwards and will almost move from 3.1 million tons in 2023 to 6.2 million tons in 2040, which is a double. Canada Nickel even expects already 5.1 million tons nickel in 2030. But given the growth rate of the last years with 9 to 10 percent, over 6 million tons can be reached in 2030 already. In the Global Outlook report for critical minerals of the EIA, the growth of power generation capacity from low emission sources accelerates in all three IEA scenarios. Renewables account for the majority of capacity additions in every region over the outlook period. The acceleration of renewable energy deployment calls for modernizing distribution grids and establishing new transmission corridors to connect renewable resources that are far from demand centers such as cities and industrial areas. Global EV sales are set to grow strongly, more than tripling by 2030 in the steps and APS to almost 45 million to 50 million vehicles respectively and increasing more than 5-fold to 70 million in the NZE that means a net zero EV scenario. The EV sales in Europe are expected to rebound strongly in 2025, reaching between 20 and 24% market share as stricter emission limits come into effect and cheaper models are introduced. A report by Think Tank Transport and Environment predicts that mass market EV offerings will drive recovery. T&E's projections are based on the belief that Europe will see seven fully electric models priced under 25,000 euros in 2024 and 2025. EV sales have slipped in 2024, accounting for only 14% of new car sales after three years of growth. Declines in Germany, Europe's largest market due to subsidy cuts, have overshadowed gains in countries like the Netherlands, Spain and Italy. A separate study by BMI Research also projects significant EV sales growth, particularly driven by corporate fleets and rental companies. Energy storage and growing EV sales will drive nickel prices the next years. We also need to be more independent in our nickel supply. Canada Nickel can provide such independence with their Crawford project in the heart of Timmins in Canada and they are leading the next generation of large-scale nickel supply and projects and one of a few new sources of potentially supply outside Indonesia and China. There is a potential super cycle emerging which occurs every 15 to 20 years. Canada Nickel consolidated a substantial new nickel district in the established Timmins mining camp representing this next generation of nickel with large-scale, lower-grade, open-pit nickel, sulfide projects with potential for zero carbon production. Huge key investors like Agnico Eagle with 11%, Samsung SDI with 8.7% and Anglo American with 7.6% support well the project. In addition, they have strong government and state support with a 500 million US dollar letter of interest from Export Development Canada as mandated lead arranger and over 600 million dollar in tax credits. The Crawford BFS showed a 2.5 billion dollar after tax NPV at 8% discount with an IRR of 17.5. This increases to 2.6 billion after tax NPV 8% and an IRR of 18.3% with the projected carbon capture and storage tax credits. The mine life would be 41 years at least and Crawford is the world's second largest nickel reserve and second largest resource. The annual EBITDA is $811 million. The free cash flow stands at $546 million and 48,000 tons nickel per year during a peak of 27 year period will be produced. 1.5 million tons of CO2 annually from IPT carbonation process will be stored and the project is a net negative contributor to global CO2 footprint with 30 tons of CO2 
reduce storage capacity per ton of nickel after the project footprint. The permitting process is underway and they target mid-2025 to have the first phase of federal permitting process successfully completed. The impact statement, the second phase, shall be completed by October 2024. Groundbreaking impact assessment agreements consolidated 42 square kilometers of ultramafic mag highs ground, which is 25 times the 1.6 square kilometers geophysical footprint of Crawford with 10 targets larger than Crawford. Also an important point is the net zero metals pass they are moving forward. They develop downstream legal and stainless steel processing facilities in the Timmins region. The company has a market cap of 205 million Canadian dollars and the chart has built a double bottom but started an upside move. We have a first price target around the 2 to 2 dollar 10 level. Longer term, 4 to 4.5 Canadian dollars shall come into the play. I'm Jochen Steiger, Swiss Resource Capital AG in partnership with Lucas Covid TV. I'm a shareholder of the company and thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.